Okay, now we're going to talk about truncating and rounding, and this absolutely should be review, but it's always good to kind of go back over it again to refresh your memory. Truncating a number means that you simply drop everything off past that point. So, for example, if we're going to truncate this number to two decimal places, we look to see, okay, two decimal places would be the 9 and the 4, when we truncate, we literally drop everything off past that. So this one would be 13.94 truncated. Now that is different than rounding. When we round a number, we have to look to the right of the place value. And if the number to the right is 5 or more, that tells us we have to round up. If it is less than 5, then we leave it alone. So, for instance, we have our same number here, and we're going to round this decimal to the nearest hundredth. So, we have our tenths position and then our hundredths position. So, rounding it to the nearest hundredths, let me erase that, would actually be this the 4. In order to decide whether we're rounding up or leaving it as is, we always look one place to the right. In this case, it would be the 6. So if this number is 5 or more, then that means it's more than halfway to the next number. So this tells us we need to round this number up to 13.95. If this had number if this 6 had been a 4 or less, then we would have left it as 0.94. We would have you say rounding down, which is true, um, but you're not really changing that number. Um, here in this example, it says round the decimal to the nearest thousandth. Okay, so thousandths place, we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths would be the six. So we're going to look one place to the right. And when we look one place to the right, this number is less than five. It is not five or more. So it's not halfway to the next um, higher decimal. That means that we have to leave it as 13.946. Okay. Now also they may ask you, and, and in reviewing your math this is always a good idea, just to refresh your memory about what the number line looks like. So remember that zero is kind of like Switzerland. It's that place right in the center. To the right of zero are all of our positive numbers, and to the left are all of our negative numbers. And remember they're equally spaced. One is one unit to the right, Negative 1 would be 1 unit to the left. And remember that if you have a number that is greater than 0, that's the same thing as saying it's positive. Because as we move to the right, our numbers get bigger, larger. So larger than 0 would be numbers to the right, positive numbers. If you have a number that is less than 0, that means it would be to the left of 0 and those would be negative numbers. Anything to the left is smaller, to the right is larger. Just a quick little review on that also.